I just wanted to show you Cody's song here. This is the song I've been using, that I was using to try and score songs, but it can apply to any of, you know, a million different songs. Ever since the day, ever since the day you came along. All right, so that's the song that we're going to use to, um, figure out what's going on and I have to do this for Cody anyway um, because you know he's a friend of mine so we like to talk about uh, the the chord progressions you know so you know again it's a slow song and it's in the key of B and gosh as a as a piano player the key of B to me is strange I would you know I would do things in C you know or I'd what I do is just transpose my piano into the key of B so I could play in the key of C anyway let's look at this let's get down to the nitty-gritty here so first of all you want to play along you want to use the patterns I found when I was doing this um, I couldn't do the cage I was messing up the cage when the song was actually uh, changing keys, uh, chords rather. It's just messing up the cage. I couldn't find which which one it was. I knew, okay, we have an A here. We can do an A shape. But then when when he goes to a different chord, I'm like, I'm lost. Where am I? Okay, well I know it went to a different chord, but. Where, does that does that cage start on this or that or the other thing? You know, does does the uh, cage shape for a minor? Does it start on the minor or does it go up to the minor? You know, and I'm like, I messed up. So what I had to do was I went over to one of the patterns that I have, the trusty old S2Ls, S3Ls, and S3XLs here. Okay, and uh, I wonder if we still have this up. Yes. <coughs> So right here is where we start, okay? So you got this song playing in the background, right? And you want to use these patterns, these two right here. And I know that a lot of commercials are on YouTube saying, this is the one pattern, this is the one pattern. And then there's a fellow... Uh, David, somebody who's who's uh, he's obviously sells guitars, you know. So he got a little different approach to it. He says, "Guys, we're saying, oh, there's a pattern, and you telling me how to play the guitar and all that stuff." I'm just saying, in my own struggles with guitar, I found that as a piano player and as an electrical engineer, you know, so I can put up with this boredom level where I'm not playing, but I know. At the end of the rainbow say you're an electrical engineer you're making a design and at the end of the rainbow you're gonna have this device that works for you well it, this is the device that works for me at the end of the rainbow I'm be, be able to play guitar so um, what it is is so you, say you got this rhythm like Cody's song I think it goes to the uh, to the fourth there. So anyway, um, I mess, I even messed that up. So I'm starting to play like this, do, 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 you know, and I got to play one of my patterns here, right? So I ain't even gonna look at what I'm doing here. I'm just going to play that B, right? I'm going so I'm not even looking at it. Just play around a little bit. Okay, so if you can get a whole step and a half step that sounds right. So say so you stay on one string. Stay on one string. Alright. So it looks like we've got a seven root here. Okay, but it could be, you know, it could be a three four, but it's gonna be either the seven root or the three or the uh, three and the four. Okay, so mm -hmm. 
All right, when you come down like this, you know, if you just play around with it until you can find out are you on the three and the four or are you on the seven and the root, okay? And uh, what really will help you find it is this five, six here. But that's not what this, that's not exactly what this technique is. That's not what excited me. I knew that already. I knew the five, six was what was, when I got to the five, six, Okay, so here's the root. So I know root's going to be um, root 2. So there's 7 root 2. Let's just say I've, you know, you've isolated it and you get yourself so that you can play the S3L and the S2L of this pattern. So it'll go like... So there, here's your S3L. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, root 2. Okay? That's it. Now you got to pay attention because at home you're not going to have the notes. And, and we're equal now because I'm playing in a key that I don't understand. And I'm not going to try and do this thing by, by black notes and, and colored white notes. Right? So I gotta pay attention to where I am. So I'm gonna say them to, gonna say the uh, patterns to myself. Oh, look, there's my neighbor's house. Um, but that's just a picture. That, that's not. I don't have. I don't have cameras. <laughs> um, so here's the here's the play along to use the pattern. So I'm right here, right? Six, seven, root, five, six, two, three, four. This is where we are in the steps. So we've got a little ground to cover here. Well, we're, we're gonna go here, then to this page, then to this page. We're only on step one. We've identified, we've identified the root at this point here, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit. It doesn't wanna move over. Oh, these, these aren't as big. Hey, look at my keys. How dirty they are. Th these, uh, this, this picture isn't as big as the, uh, as the charts I make. All right, so we better zoom out so we can see this part. <coughs> At this point, all I know is that it's in B. And I know that B is the root. So we look at our S3L, our S2Ls. All right, so... We're back. Uh, I got the S, S, uh, 2L and the S3L here. So you see this 6, 7 root, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4. Okay. It, it's actually wrong. <laughs> this is wrong. It's, I wrote it in like a brainstorm. It, it's not 6, 6, 7 root is here. Okay. So, so this is, this is wrong. All right. What, what this is, is this right here, okay? So, right, right there. All right, that's what's right there. See that, I didn't even know I wrote it wrong, but me, I don't even recognize it. You know, I'm, I'm just writing, you know, really fast and uh, getting the brainstorm, you know, it's like brainstorming. So we got the pattern now. You know, all I know at this point in my friend's song is that um, my good friend that um, it's in the key of B, and B is the root. So now I can go down to the seven, up to the B, and up to the two. Now, as soon as I drop it down here, I'll just repeat the pattern a little bit. Now I know I have an S3L. Because the, the only other pattern it could be is, is part of the same, you know, part of the, uh, the dual patterns is the S2L. And it doesn't have the 5, 6 alone there. There's nothing, there's nothing a half step away from the 5 and the 6. Okay, so it's, it's just this pattern here.